Number 61. If a severe storm results in the loss of electricity, it may be necessary to use a clothesline to dry laundry. In many parts of the country in the dead of winter, the clothes will quickly freeze when they are hung on the line. If it does not snow, will they dry anyway? And then explain your answer. All right. So no electricity here. We need those. We need those clothes to be absolutely dry. So will they dry in the dead of winter? Well, we're talking about water here or H2O because, uh, you know, what is coming down from the sky? It's either in snow form, rain form, right? So that's H2O. Now, in this case, uh, the, the question is basically saying in many parts of the country in the dead of winter, the clothes will quickly freeze. Okay, so here is the first point of the puzzle here, right? That if your clothes are freezing, that means that you're starting off with your clothes with H2O on them, but if they're frozen, what state is that H2O going to be? Yeah, it's going to be a solid, right? If something is freezing, that means that you go to a solid state. So there's like ice. There's ice on the clothes. Now, with those clothes that are being hung on the line with ice on them, we or it's basically saying that no more snowing is happening, but will these clothes dry? And how are these clothes going to dry? Well, think of the three phases of water. We have either ice, right? Solid ice that is basically frozen water. So that's not dry. Obviously liquid water, if the clothes are drenched with liquid water, Uh, that's not going to be dry as well. Only when the vapor water comes and comes off of the clothes, will the clothes be dry. So when, uh, the dry, you know, when the clothes will dry, we're looking for the H2O to turn into a gas. So we're basically starting off as a solid, but then If the clothes are going to dry, we need that H2O to turn into a gas to leave and go into the atmosphere. Okay, so I'll just say to leave the clothes. So basically, if we're talking about any type of situation in which a solid is being converted into a gas, this is sublimation. Sublimation happens when you bypass over the liquid to get to a gas. So generally speaking, it's a solid to a liquid to a gas, but because of sublimating, you are bypassing over the liquid and solid ice can turn into vapor and go into the atmosphere. But now the question is, can this occur? Can sublimation occur? Can sublimation occur here? That's basically what the question is asking for. Well, they did say that it's the dead of the winter. So we're talking about extremely cold temperatures. So we're in the dead of the winter. This is extremely cold temperatures. And what I did was I pulled up a phase diagram of water. And in this case, they do have temperature for degrees Celsius, but all we just have to know is that we're dealing with cold temps. Now, cold temps over here, zero degrees Celsius, that's freezing. So we already know that the clothes are going to be freeze freezing already. So we're dealing with temperatures that are way lower. So maybe we're dealing with something, I don't know, over here or here. It just has to be below zero because those clothes have already frozen, which means that the H2O has already been a solid. But now, can we convert into a gas? Well, let's see. If I'm at a solid, and maybe what I'll do is I'll just bring this up just to see all the possibilities of when we're at this cold temperature. And now all we have to know is, can we 
sublime, or can we undergo sublimation? Remember, a sublimation is a solid to a gas. So the dark blue areas is ice, aka H2O is a solid, and the brown area is water vapor, which is a gas. Is there a way at this temperature in which you can cross over from a solid to a gas? Yes, you can. It's down here. So you can sublimate. And, I mean, you could sublimate up until basically this point in time because that's the start of melting. So even if it was dead in the winter and it was maybe this temperature, which was right next to zero, you would still be able to undergo sublimation. So maybe I'll just draw these lines here just to show you that at any point, this is clearly able to undergo sublimation, which is what the question was asking for. So can we get those clothes to dry? Yes, we can. So yes, uh, the, the clothes, the clothes will dry. And the reason being is that sublimation can occur at low temperatures. Sublimation can occur at low temps and relatively low pressures. Okay. But basically, the answer here is yes, this can. You can bypass the liquid stage to get to sublimation. And that's it. Okie dokie. This one's done. What'd you think? I hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Thank you for viewing the video. Thank you for being part of this community. And if you wouldn't mind, please press the subscribe button just to get the word out there that this channel exists. I thank you so, so much. And I'll talk to you in later lessons. Okay, bye-bye.